Hey, what is up guys? It's Brennan here and today I'm going to be showing you how to change the header color on Shopify. So how to change the header color on your Shopify store. That's what we're going to be diving into here in today's video. And before we dive into things, I do want to mention if you don't already have a Shopify store, you can go ahead and check out that first link down in the description box below. That's brennanvaleski.com forward slash Shopify. That will take you right over to a Shopify free trial. We're going to get started with Shopify for free today. Again, that's that first link down in the description box below. And without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the tutorial. So, of course, first things first, you're going to want to make sure that you are logged in to your Shopify store's dashboard. Next, you're going to come over here to the left-hand side underneath sales channels and select online store. Once you have selected online store, it should take you right over to the themes settings section. Now, currently, I am using the Dawn theme on Shopify, so this may look a little bit different depending on what theme you're currently using on Shopify. Now, the Dawn theme is is part of the new online store 2.0 themes on Shopify. Again, there are a bunch of other different free themes that you can utilize on Shopify as well that you can, of course, change your header color on any of these different themes. Now, again, I am using the Dawn theme. So without further ado, next, you're going to select on customize. You're going to click the green button labeled customize. Once you do that, this will take you over to the theme editor. Now, as you can see, I have already changed the header on this store to red. There are a variety of different color options. Of course, you can change this to any color that you want. All you have to do is click over here underneath home page and select header. So you can also alternatively, instead of clicking it over here, you can also just click your header uh, here in the editor should bring up this section here. Now, by default, it will typically show as maybe say background one. It's just a plain white color. Now, if you want to change it, you need to select from these color schemes. Now, in order to then change these color schemes, you have to go into your theme settings. Now, we're going to go ahead and change this over to accent uh, at, let's stick with accent one, which is blue. Now to actually change this accent one color, what you need to do is come over here to theme settings. Once you select theme settings, then you're going to come over here to colors, which will bring down this drop down menu here where you have all of your themes color settings. Now, it's important to mention that when you change any of these accent colors, it will also change those accent colors anywhere else that they appear on your Shopify store. So, for example, this blue color doesn't appear anywhere else on the home page. However, the red does the accent two color does appear in the sale text. So so it's something to bear in mind when you're changing your theme accent colors, uh, especially for your header, is that it will appear in other places on your store. So you need to make sure that you're designing this built all around your overall brand colors and brand image because this color will appear in other places wherever that accent color is selected on your Shopify store. So bear that in mind as well. Now, as you can see, we've already selected accent one for the header color. You can feel free to change this to any color that you want. All you have to do is click on accent one if you're utilizing the accent one color. You can also change this to really, as you can see here, uh, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, aqua, um, black, even if you just kind of drag it down over here. So you've got all these different variations that you can change your header to. It will also automatically adjust based on, you know, if you you know, have it if you select like background, um, that will invert the color. Although if you're doing accent one, it won't automatically change the text color. So keep that in mind if you're selecting a color uh, that the accent one will typically just have the white text, um, which you can change your text color as well. Um, if you want to change that in your in your header, your theme header. So we're going to go ahead and stick with that blue color that I selected before. I think that looks pretty good. The accent one color, as you can see. Now, again, you can change your text colors as well for text links, as you can see, like background one, background two. Um, so in your secondary colors and your text, overall foreground colors on background colors. So if you have a secondary color uh, as background colors. So if you're changing out your background colors, uh, we go back to sections and color scheme on the header. As you can see, if you go to background one, the background color is now the background text option, basically almost like an alternative text. So if you're utilizing a background color, uh, it will then utilize that text 
Alternatively, you could also just select inverse if you like that for your color scheme. I think this looks pretty nice as well for a header. Really just depends on what you want to do. Uh, again, if you do select accent one, it will use the white text. And if you change out your background, it will use the background text in the colors setting. So let's go ahead and change that secondary text here. So as you can see now, the secondary text shows up as blue. We're gonna do secondary color. Let's go ahead and go with black. Or right, we already pretty much already had black. So let's go ahead and go with white then in this case. And see, if you do do that, it kind of messes up a lot of other parts of your store. So I wouldn't recommend necessarily doing that as your secondary color. Um, again, the secondary color with black, it outlines everything a lot nicely or a lot nicer. So yeah, I would recommend sticking to a relatively darker secondary color. If you are trying to change out this text, maybe if you want to go darker, um, you can also add even accent gradients too, if you want to your color settings and all of that as well. Um, if you're changing out like buttons and backgrounds and things like that. But overall, uh, I would say stick to a darker color for that text as the secondary color. If you're trying to change out your header again, it's going to change across your other parts of your store. So that's something to keep in mind as well when you're changing out these colors. Of course, you can feel free to play around with this as much as you want. It will just appear in a lot of other parts of your store besides just the header. So if we go back to the header, uh, the color scheme, we could select accent one. As you can see, now we have a gradient. So if you wanted to do that gradient, like I showed you a second ago, that is how you do it. We'll go back to that setting in just a moment here. But under accent one, and then you go to theme settings, you can also edit instead of just a single color on your header, uh, you can also utilize gradients. So this is a radial gradient here. Um, and again, we have selected the accent one color scheme. We go back here, accent one, and then we have accent one gradient. So a radiant gradient, <laughs> a radial gradient. Uh, you can select various different uh, gradient types as well. Uh, if you kind of want a different sort of dimension or angle, which I think is really cool. It definitely adds a different level or flavor to your Shopify stores header, something that most people probably uh, don't use. Um, so we're going to go ahead and remove that and then we're going to select a different one. So as you can see here, there's a variety of different gradient variations that you can use, even something like this that may be a little bit harder to read. So you can kind of play around with this. Uh, to kind of make it a little bit easier to read or maybe a little bit more visible. So that, that's kind of difficult to read. It does take a bit of toying around with to get it exactly how you may want it for your store. As you can see, just back to basic blue or even sort of like an orange uh, gradient. It's kind of cool. Uh, maybe we have more of the red hues kind of coming in. Um, so lots of ways that you could play around with this. This kind of reminds me of the old school PowerPoint setup with just all these gradients and stuff uh, sliding in. We're going to go ahead and remove this one and we're going to go ahead and stick with that other purple one previously. I believe that one looked pretty nice. Then once you have selected your header color uh, that you want to use in your Shopify store, all you have to do is then click the green button in the top right corner and select save. So you can do gradients, you can do accent colors. Just keep in mind that this will appear in other parts of your store uh, when you're changing like the accent one and some of the other text settings for your secondary text depending on what scheme that you end up selecting. But that is how you change the color of your header on your Shopify store. I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful and really gave you an in-depth look at all the different ways that you can really manipulate your header on your Shopify store. Again, I am using the Dawn theme within the newer online store 2.0 setup. There's really a lot of flexibility and ways that you can manipulate your header to make your store just look a little bit more unique and stand out amongst the rest. Guys, if you don't already have a Shopify store, I do wanna mention again, you can check out that first link down in the description box below. That's brennavaleski.com. 
shopify.com forward slash shopify that will take you right over to a shopify free trial we can get started with shopify for free today again that's that first link down in the description box below guys if you found this video helpful be sure to smash that like button hit the subscribe button as well and the notification bell so you're notified whenever i upload a new video but anyway guys that is all for today's video and i will see you in the next one peace out